Hey there, if you are coming up with this recurring problem and you're receiving an error trading on Uniswap or Sushi Shop or the Ethereum network and you're getting this error, unable to locate the transaction hash, this is the video for you because in this video, I'm gonna go through my exact process of the problems that I faced, different uh, try to solutions that I was trying to do, the, the money I spent, and exactly finally the uh, the solution. If you don't wanna just wanna get to this solution, just go ahead and the timestamps are gonna be in the bottom. Anyway, my name is Aaron, and I, I am on a journey to one Bitcoin. I am brand new investor, and, and I'm exploring the crypto universe. As I call it the Wild West, and it's full of pitfalls and dangers and scams. And I'm just trying to here to help. I'm gonna like you know bring things to you, and you know you could choose to use it or not, or agree with it or not. So if you want to follow along with my journey, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, go ahead and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified for any new videos. And of course, if you are feeling like a generous person today, I would ask for you to hit the like button now. So I would be on like sushi swap, and I'm trying to get some Rari right because I think it's like the new new hot thing. And then it would just keep pending, right? I would put the I have the Ethereum I need. I want to swap for it, and then you know it, it keeps pending. And then uh, the same thing with uh, Uniswap. I mean, it's still doing it right here, and this is a consistent problem because this was the error message I kept getting. Sorry, we were unable to locate this transaction hash, and this is a big problem because I think like I, I don't want to be spending extra money on gas fees. Uh, maybe they didn't even see it. Maybe they didn't even go through. But I'm, I'm actually losing opportunity costs because at different points of in the last week, I've been trying to do this, and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And so it, it was very frustrating. And for this instance, I'm using MetaMask and I'm on a Google Chrome browser. And so if you are running into this problem, um, you should know that I don't think you're spending any gas fees and I don't think, I don't think that's a problem. And so here is the solution. The quick solution is if you go into your MetaMask, okay? And this is just what worked for me. You go into your MetaMask and you hit the side browser here. You run into settings and you run to the advanced tab and you just reset your account. When you reset your account, look, all, all I could tell you all the tech I could tell you technical stuff that I don't even really know. I have a little lizard brain but gorilla arms and diamond hands and I just know this worked for me. This worked and this fixed it all. So, uh, if if you want to try this, you know, you can try it, but you know, that's what worked for me. If it doesn't work for you, then I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Find someone else who's smarter than me, but this is what worked for me. And now I am able to, of course, um, go through and uh, swap for Uniswap and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, if you appreciated this short tutorial, uh, I would. Uh, I would appreciate you giving me a uh, generous like button. If you want to follow along my journey, just go ahead and hit subscribe button and any notification bells. I said that all backwards. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching my video and I'll talk to you. I'll see you on the moon.